Hey guys, TechieKHD here again with another video, and I haven't made a video in a while, I'm really sorry about that, I was really busy with Thanksgiving and school, the holidays, really just the projects that I've had at school so far, but I decided to make this video for you guys since I am going to be traveling really soon. This is pretty much everything I have in my tech bag when I travel. So starting off here, I have my late 2013 13.3 inch Retina MacBook Pro. Now I've had this computer for a little while, you guys have definitely seen it around the channel for a while. The stickers and skins and stuff on it change from time to time. Right now I have a Supreme sticker. Right now I'm also super happy because I have all of these ports. The two Thunderbolt ports, uh, MagSafe USB-A, uh, the headphone jack, as opposed to, of course, the new MacBook Pros that actually you need dongles to get all of these ports. I love having these Thunderbolt ports because I have um, a CalDigit Thunderbolt 2 um, dock that I use with all of my stuff on my desk and especially this SD card here as a photographer and video maker I use the SD card on a daily basis and multiple times a day and also the screen is really nice I am actually looking to upgrade to the new MacBook Pro but it's probably gonna end up being the 15 inch model next year uh, the touch bar isn't enough to sell me right now I definitely do need a new computer but it's gonna have to wait a little bit for now the 13 inch Retina MacBook Pro late 2013 is doing really well for me it has an i5 512 gigabyte SSD, so it works really well. Uh, this here is my Wacom uh, Intuos Pen and Touch, or just the pen, sorry, it's the Pen Small. Uh, it's just a drawing tablet that I use for my computer. Now, I am an industrial design student, uh, and so this actually comes in really handy. The stylus is nice, it has a lot of hover functions and technology in it that helps it be uh, pretty accurate, and it works really well when I'm rendering files inside of Photoshop, especially for all of my concept renderings. Um, I think working digitally is really, really cool, and this uh, tablet really helps me do it in a much more accurate fashion. It has a lot of like hot control buttons here, which are really nice. Uh, I have them assigned to Command Z and a couple other things, so that's pretty cool. I use this tablet pretty much every day for classes. So moving on over is actually my camera setup, and this is a question I get a lot, uh, is what camera do I use on my channel? Now right now I'm filming uh, on my friend's camera, which I believe is a Canon 6D, but this is my camera right here. This is the Sony a6300, as you guys can see right here. Uh, currently I do have it with a Sigma 18-35 to lens on it, and it's using the Sigma MC11 uh, Sony to Canon adapter. But I really, really love this camera because of its small size and the fact that it can record 4K video. Now it is a crop sensor camera, but it does work really well. The low light performance is amazing. The image processor, I don't know what Sony's been doing, but recently they've been pumping out some amazing quality cameras. Uh, the, the screen is really nice. I wish it would flip out all the way, which would be really helpful as a video maker. The controls are nice, but they're a little bit loose and kind of easy to push uh, a lot of the controls when you don't want to. But I like the fact that there's a lot of dials and customizable function keys, and that really keeps me on this camera. I think it's a really, really great piece of tech. Um, I think the small size gets negated by the fact that I'm using this massive Sigma 1835 lens on it. But this is from their art series, and I think this was the first lens to come out in the art series, but I really love it because it has this 18 to 35 zoom range while keeping a constant 1.8 aperture, and it is really, really sharp. The glass in this lens is just beautiful. The only thing I don't love about this setup is where the record button is on the camera, but outside of that, I think just uh, the camera paired with this really super sharp glass is probably something I really love. Uh, also, the battery life on this camera sucks, but it's really nice that I can charge the battery inside of the camera using just a regular micro USB cable. Now, to offset the front heavy weight of the camera setup, I have this little thing that I got from Cowboy Studio. I did have like a Cowboy Studio shoulder mount, and this actually came with it, but I realized that this worked really well for this situation when I mount my tripod or when I mount my camera on my tripod because it helps keep the weight a little bit to the bottom and even out the center of gravity between the entire front heavy thing. Uh, it's really cheap, I don't know if you can buy this thing as a separate accessory, but I just had it lying around and I noticed that it worked well for me. The plastic's kind of cheap, but it has a regular uh, tripod mount at the bottom, so it works fine. Now I forget what this is called, but this is just one of these things where you push and air comes out. And I really just carry this around everywhere for my camera because it helps me get dust and stuff off of my lens. Uh, and even out of my, uh, there's always dust that collects within, uh, between the key spaces on my keyboard and my computer. So squeezing this pushes out some air and it's just a nice thing to have. You probably find this in every photographer's camera bag. Now a staple that's obviously required is my MagSafe charger. Now this is actually the 60 watt charger, I do have the 80 watt charger that came with my MacBook, uh, and that's actually plugged into the wall at my desk setup, I didn't feel like unplugging it, but I had an extra one of these lying around from my old MacBook Air, and really when I go to class and stuff this is what I take, because I can just plug it in and run it off of this and for power instead of battery. I also really love the fact that this still has MagSafe. Uh, I'm a firm believer in the progress of technology, and I really love the USB-C Thunderbolt 3 port that we 
have on the new MacBooks. But I think for now, MagSafe works really well for me. I've been using it for a couple of years. I'm used to it. Um, it's a functional port. It works really well. It's felt well designed. Uh, and I think for right now, this is working pretty well for me. So I also always carry around a micro USB cable because this is a really, really versatile cable. You can use it for a lot of things. In my case, I use it predominantly with my Wacom tablet because it fits it perfectly, uh, but also I do use it to charge up my camera. Outside of that, I also carry a power bank with me with it, you guys will see probably later. But the micro USB cable, I, this just works really well. Uh, I have one here, but sometimes I even carry up to two in my bag, a short one and a longer one. One for charging up stuff overnight and one just for little other things. Now these are some Velodyne in-ear earphones. I don't want to show them to you guys right now uh, because the cable's all tangled up and the, the foam ear bits are kind of weird looking. But basically these are my in-ear earphones, but I am looking for a set of Bluetooth earphones to replace those as well as my ETH M50Xs. Uh, but we'll get to that later. For now, this is also an Arch Ear uh, two port USB charger. Now you can never have enough wall chargers and I think that having one with multiple ports in it is really nice. It's made out of this plastic and it actually doesn't feel cheap at all. It has a little bit of heft to it. It also has an indicator LED, which I don't see often enough, uh, and it's actually really useful because if something wasn't charging, this would really help you figure out what it was, whether the charger was at fault or the cable. So it's really cool. Now this right here is a quick release plate, but this isn't for the tripod I'm using at the moment. My This is from my old Benro tripod, but I just have it here as a placeholder so you guys can see that I do carry a quick release plate on me. It's just that I'm currently using my main one on the camera that I'm filming with right now. Now for my over-the-ear headphones, I do have the Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs. I've always stood by the fact that these are excellent headphones for monitoring and also just for listening to music because they have the most accurate sound representation in this price range. And unfortunately, I am selling them, so if one of you are interested, you can let me know with a comment and I'll ship them out to you. We can work out a price on Twitter. Um, but these headphones are really amazing. The only thing is I just don't get around to using them as much. I think I edit most of my video in studio space, and so uh, I don't really tend end up needing these that much. It has a headphone jack, which is nice. You can swap out the cables. It comes with multiple cables. I just use the straight one, uh, but I am probably going to be looking for a set of Bluetooth headphones to replace this. Now here I just have my Sony uh, lens cap or my Sony body cap as well as my uh, Canon uh, lens cap or like the back area of the lens, the mount cap if you will, uh, for the 18-35 to as well as for my uh, Sony body. We just put that to the side here. And this is the power bank I was talking about earlier. Now, I actually found this, I got it from a friend of mine, actually my old roommate, um, and this is just a Xiaomi power bank. Xiaomi is a company based out of China and they're known for making some interesting electronics at affordable prices. And it's really nice because it's made out of aluminum. It feels really premium. It's a 10,400 milliamp hour uh, battery pack, which works nice. It's good for like one and a half charges on the iPhone 7. And it works just, it works well for me. It has minimal branding and it has that space gray look, which I really like. Uh, I do have a couple other battery packs, uh, but for now this is the one that I'm using. Now one of the things that I obviously use it with is a lightning cable. Now I forget how long this is, but this is the longer of the cables that Apple sells. Uh, it's just a regular lightning cable, I use it to charge my iPhone and that's pretty much it. Uh, outside of that, as I was saying before, I do have the straight cable for the Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs. Now this does come with a coiled cable as well as I forget another one. Uh, but one end is actually just a regular 3.5 millimeter jack and the other one is kind of like a proprietary lock for ATH M50s or ATH M50Xs. But it's nice that the cable is replaceable unlike the ATH M50s where it wasn't and so if you break one or something you can always pick up another one. I also keep a microfiber cloth on me all the time because it's really nice for cleaning out my electronics, my screen on my computer, my iPhone screen, my lens. Uh, it's just nice to have. This is a big one. I just have it folded up here, but you can never be, you can never go wrong with having an extra microfiber in your bag. So this right here is my two terabyte Western Digital USB 3.0 hard drive. Now I actually use a separate drive, a one terabyte Western Digital drive for my YouTube video backups, but on this I normally store most of my media such as TV shows, movies, things of that nature. I have a lot of videos that I've been archiving for a while just off of other users on YouTube and Vimeo and just content that I like to view every now and again. Uh, it's a little bit heavy which isn't great for travel, but this normally sits on my desk and you guys have probably seen that in a desk tour video so it doesn't matter to me too much, but for travel I'm actually thinking of picking up an external SSD with a USB-C port sometime in the future. Now 2016 is the year of the dongle and uh, unfortunately I uh, couldn't escape it. This is the Lightning 2 micro or Lightning 2 3.5 millimeter headphone jack adapter that Apple fries in the box with the iPhone 7. I need this just to listen to music every now and again but 
yeah, I also carry around a pack of business cards. This is always useful. I'm not going to show you guys my information, but I do have the logo that I designed myself for my first and last name. And I like it because it's reversible. Uh, it works upside down as well, which is nice. So I always carry these with me. Uh, and of course, the last thing, now this is normally not in my bag, I guess, for security checks at airports. I normally throw it in there because it's easier, but this is my phone. Uh, it is the black, the matte black uh, iPhone 7, 128 gigabyte uh, factory unlocked. Uh, I really, really like this phone. I kind of ended up deciding that I was going to buy this as a placeholder until the 8 came out, and then I would switch to the Plus. I had really thought I would get the Plus when the next phone came out, but since Apple has their 10 year anniversary next year. Um, I did need a new phone, but I didn't want to splurge on the Plus because I knew this phone was only going to be temporary. So that's really it. I got a screen protector on it, and I also have the C Blue Apple case. The screen protector is a tempered glass one off of Amazon. It's really nice. I forget what company it's from, but it works well. Uh, and so this is my iPhone 7. It's my only phone, and it works really well. I love the camera. iOS is great, as it's always been. Um, yeah, if you guys would like to see a what's on my iPhone video, I have a link to that in the description of this video. And you'll probably see it around my channel if you guys want to check it out. Either way, guys, that's been about it for what's in my bag. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.